go. This is Deontay DeBron from a while, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow, Sports TV. Bomb Squad, baby. Man, uh, Alexander Usyk saying Tyson Fury is pulling another antic. His promoter said that Fury jumped out of, jumped into, like he was starting training camp uh, the other day when he really wasn't. Says that they agreed on a rematch clause. And now Tyson Fury is saying no rematch clause. And got to remember, they five weeks out to April 29th date. Um, let's talk about it. Check out the heavyweight boxing playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop a video. So, um, interesting. I mean, like I said before, I don't like his, en his energy towards Usi. It's different. Uh, remember he fought Wilder the second time. He looked all beat up. He was calm. And then he went in and people say, well, this is Fury playing mind games. I just think it's a little bit different here. He don't want it. I keep telling y'all that shit, man. If it's easy money, go get it. You know, y'all arguing over a split for five weeks. You know what I'm saying? With five weeks left, this this fight should have been in the back. Usyk said, you know what? After I fought Anthony Joshua, and what was it? August, I don't have enough time from September, October, to December to come back and do it again. I had an injury I had to heal from. You know? So then it said in February. Then it got moved back to April. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, why ain't Tyson Fury just trying to go get that easy, them easy belts and be undisputed? He was close last time. It just seemed like he kind of reminded you the dude from Jimmy Neutron. I don't know who, how many people watch that cartoon. Remember in one of the nemesis he had, he could never finish nothing. You know what I'm saying? His whole, his, all his inventions was always missing something. He never could finish it. And that's kind of looking like what Tyson Fury is. Like he can never truly finish um, finish, you know, nothing, you know, he dropped the ring belt to pick it back up so he can break an, a record. I think Ali record, you know, and most people say, oh, this is an easy fight for Fury and Fury can do that. Man, it was no issue making the Dillian White and Tyson Fury fight. And Dillian White represented by Eddie Hearn. They, they made that happen. You know what I'm saying? He know that Usyk is a problem, bro. He know, he know that shit you do with with Deontay, it's different. You know, not saying Usyk not a better fighter than Wilder. Wilder a lesser fighter than Usyk. However y'all want to, however y'all want to do it, that don't mean nothing. As they call it the triangle theory, all I'm saying is how hard it is to make this fight. It's not. You know, it's not. Go ahead and, 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 and whoop him if you're going to whoop him. But he know he struggled with dudes. He can't see them punches coming. I keep telling y'all that with Deontay, you wrestle with a nigga that go in a straight line. And with Deontay sliding on the ropes, it ain't really a slide. It's more like a wild war. You know what I'm saying? You dealing with Uzi, you dealing with somebody that got movement, somebody that got IQ. Y'all said, well, he ain't got the power that Wilder got. No, he don't. But he can't see the shots coming. It's like Otto Wileen. Why Otto Wileen can't get another shot versus nobody? He technical. He couldn't see them shots coming. That wasn't no... No mystery. He got rid of Ben John, Ben whatever his name, Ben Davidson, and brought in a uh, Sugar Hill. After that, that was no. Come on, you seen you seen how you know Ottawa Lean was kind of like back and, and shooting them shots where he couldn't see them shots. I'm telling you, man, he know Alexander Usy probably gonna beat that ass. I, I already I know how to read body language, bro. He know he doing too much, and now he said, "Oh, no rematch call." Oh, they should be like, "Fuck it, no rematch." Well, I guess you got three bells. You that's the leverage you got. He said, they said Fury Team was the one that brought up the rematch clause, his uh, Usyk promoter saying, and they said they agreed. Then they go to sign the contracts or do the deals. Ain't no rematch clause. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? If ain't no rematch, ain't no rematch. You know, y'all at his mercy. Then he said they feel if they agree to this, then it's going to be another excuse. And it probably will be. It, you got to call a spade a spade. He don't want to fight. It's different if you're there, it's six, because you're seven, eight weeks out minimum. It's different then. You can be like, oh, they still trying to sell the fight. But the way he was acting when it was Bob Aaron's birthday, and he, oh, he's on pads and he's a blown up middleweight, then like, no, oh, fight him. You made a deal with Eddie Hearn to fight White. Oh, Eric, Bob, Frank Warren, Eddie, all, oh, they don't even like each other. They sat down and made a deal. Why? Why not make? Why not make a make, make a deal with Usyk? 
That's what I don't understand. Why not go ahead and, and make that deal and close and close and close and close that chapter on out? Be undisputed. Either A, he don't think he can whoop Usyk. B, he it's gonna be a tough time with Usyk. He win, but he don't want to really struggle to win. You know, or it's like C. You know, it ain't enough money in it for him. Then, if it ain't enough money, that's what you in it for. You be the first one to say, "Well, I'm not in it for money, big dozer. I get my money to, to to charities and shit like that." You know, dude did all that talking, and now he got to write his ass. Got to write a check. He got to write a check. His ass can't cash. You know, even Larry Klitschko got in there and started talking shit to him about talking about Usyk and shit. And if the two white people can't make no fight. In boxing, you know it's gone. You know it's bad. And they said hey, about five weeks out now. That's what the promoter said. And they said it'll be no fight. They moving on. And, you know we moving on too. You know the Daniel the boys, another Frank Warren fighter. They can make another Frank Warren fighter. They can't make this one. It don't make no sense. The boy might be out of shape. That might be what it is. He might be just out of shape. Should have been in the gym doing all that fucking talking. Doing all that talking. Should have been in the gym. Simple as that. But, you know, you know, you all, y'all at his mercy. That's what it is. Only in boxing where the dude who only carried one belt, another dude carried a ring, the WBO, the Super WBA, the real one, and, and the WBC is is, 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 is at the mercy of a dude who got one belt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Only in boxing, a non champion control, um, control uh you know control the event even if he ain't got a belt that's the crazy thing about the sport you know and you know to 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 unify the heavyweight division you know they can do that and do something that ain't been done in a long time that fury and anthony i mean wilder and anthony joshua refuse to do they can do it they can do it, you know. And right now it's a struggle. So like April 29th, they won't. But you still got Virgil Ortiz still on this fight that day. And you might have another fight on April 29th. I don't know. I could be wrong. I just think it's that dumb too. It was supposed to be them too. So, I mean, so be it. But I told y'all, man, I don't like the way he acting with him. I really, I really started to pay attention when he beat Dillian White, and I seen him talking about. And how Usyk was looking at him. He's doing like yelling and screaming. He's talking about, well, I fight Joe Joyce then. I'm like, dog, that always, that always give you a great temperature. See, you can be all like, yeah, and then when Tim run up now, I pop, pop, pop. But you know, y'all all, you know, when Tim come around and you come around, it's all what up though, man. And you ain't got the same energy when you see him. When I seen this dude, I'm just going to punch you right in the mouth. And then he right there. You see him, he right there, and that energy gone. That already tell you the truth. When you get it, when you put two energies together, two people together, they tell you the truth. His energy ain't the same, bro. With, with Usyk, you know, he, he was saying, "Oh, it doesn't excite me." How I not getting that? How not an easy payday for undisputed? You hold every belt. You put yourself down in history. You break the lineal title record, even though it really ain't no lineal no more because the ring on it is a conflict of conflict of interest. That's why it's the menace. People want. To, People, fighters always feel to bring that part up. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, why wouldn't you? Everybody think it's a foregone conclusion. He go, I'm telling you, dude, them, them European fighters. I mean, I've seen Steve Cunningham put his ass down. The same way Wilder put him down. Steve Cunningham, he can't see them punches coming, bro. I'm telling you, and Fury, and Usyk understands he know how to lever leverage him. Now, I ain't saying this shit going to be easy because it ain't. But Usyk, you break his ass down to the body. That's what I do. Hit him on the hip, break him down to the body. You know what I'm saying? And just keep making him reset. Turn him and make him reset. It's going to be tough if you're going to try that uh, leaning on Deontay. don't have no wrestling background, so he wouldn't know what to do. Usyk already know what to do. He know to drop that weight, spin up out of there, and, and not let him lay that weight on him. Adewale knew what to do. You keep that sucker on the back foot. You keep them punches low, you fire the punches where he he can't see them. Especially he can't brace for the body work. That's the only thing I don't I don't lean should have been shooting that bitch to the to the solar plex a lot more. 
Same thing with Usi. He can't see them shots versus smaller fighters. You know? Then you give him a little bit of movement. Man, I'll be firing off to the hip, firing to the solar plex, mixing it up to the head. He can't see that shit coming, bro. You know, he can't faint, you know, faints, keep him on the back foot, keep him fainting th thinking. You got a soft part there for him. He, he don't, he don't, he don't, he don't dilly dilly, filly, filly. We got a problem. He don't want none of that. I'm telling y'all, he don't want it. He know he's going to have to earn that shit. And I'm not sure him and Wilder the same fighters. He didn't take much punishment versus Dillian White. Dillian White is trash. He didn't take much punishment versus Dillian White. So you don't know if he's still the same fighter neither. Same thing with Wilder. He fought Helene. He didn't take much punishment. So you just never know. But hey, it is what it is. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live and drop video. Financially, we want to support the channel. Cash App, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in description. Hit the uh, link tree, the first link in description. Check out the heavyweight boxing talk playlist, box news playlist. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Peace.